Hello everybody, we've just turned left out of the test centre car park and this is test route number 2 of 15 for the Coventry Test Centre. This is Baton Road and you always turn left out of the car park and drive along here along Baton Road which is going to take us up to the traffic lights at the crossroads at the top of the road here. When we get to the traffic lights, we are going to turn right. Be careful though not to indicate too early, because there's a junction here on the right. So if we indicate now, just as we're passing it, that's fine. When we do turn right, we'll be turning into Coventry Road. Just have to wait for the lights to change. Like I said, this is uh, route number two, two of 15. Uh, all the other 14 uh, test routes will be on uh, YouTube quite soon. I think there's about six on there already and uh, oh, there's our space, there we go. And uh, so if you want to see the rest of them just click subscribe, away you go. And when we are on Coventry Road what you may be asked to do on this road is to pull in and park on the left and then drive on again. They do like to do that in two spaces, in two different places, should I say. Um, the first one is, uh, if you have a look on your left, there's a row of parked cars with gaps. So it'll be in there somewhere. i just ask you to pull up and park, then drive on. steady along this road there's a, a nice little bend here where it's important just to stay in your in a good position lollipop lady there just take it nice and steady going around anything like this anything like you know um, just been lorries and things people work here The other place they may ask you to pull in and park on the left, uh, just to see you pull away and drive on again, is uh, just to, you see the white car that's parked? So just before you get to that white car, and it's opposite the uh, Baton Road, the other end of Baton Road, near to the Black Bank pub. As we come down here, you'll see in the distance there's some traffic lights. We're going to be turning um, left at the traffic lights there. That noise was just to tell me that there was a, there is, sorry, a speed camera or a traffic light camera uh, approaching and we can see it, it's at the traffic lights here. So we must be careful. We're going to turn left at the lights. Making sure they're still on green, hopefully. Go. And this is Park Road. Uh, this is Park Road that's uh, only just been reopened after being closed for about eight weeks. And I can't really see the difference between how it was before and how it was now, so <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. But uh, anyway, there it is. Park Road. Now, at the end of Park Road here, you'll see there's a, a traffic light. We're just going to go straight ahead at the lights. 
but it's a bit of a dog's leg really it's, you go one way and then the other uh, but for this set of lights to go straight ahead you do need to be in the right hand lane there's going to be two lanes just wait here keep the junction open There we go the lights run red which is uh, which is quite good because it does mean that we can have a quick look at what's uh, at the layout anyway and we're just going to go straight ahead here I don't know how many times we're going to get red lights on this on this particular journey but uh, uh, so far not doing too bad So you will recognise this junction because you have Tesco's on your right and uh, we'll, we'll be driving past Tesco's in a few seconds. The lights change if they ever do. <laughs> there you go. First in front of us hasn't realised that he can move on. I think he's waiting for the green arrow. No, he isn't. There you go. Maybe he was just. <clears throat> oh, maybe he was just looking at the wrong lights or something. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. We've now gone straight ahead. I'm going to follow this road around and it bends round to the right here. And then there's a roundabout. And at the roundabout, we're going to go straight ahead, taking the first exit. Just watching for people that are coming out of Tesco's. going to take the next road on the right next right it's just here so it's quite an awkward shaped one be careful not to go onto the hatch lines and just kind of line yourself up you can go around to the right here it's quite a tight turn we're almost doing a, a, a circle of Tesco's really at this point they're going to press the button. No, that's fine. A few potholes in the road. When we come to the uh, next set of traffic lights, uh, which are the same ones that we went through before, but are from a different direction, this time we're just going to go again straight ahead. So straight ahead at these lights are going to take us into Newton Road. Red lights do seem to be a little bit of a feature at the moment, uh, but I'm sure we'll get some green ones later. <laughs> Such a big junction, you see. It, uh, uh, you're on you seem to be on road for a long time, but it's just letting all the other traffic through I suppose We just have to wait patiently and take our turn This road if, if you get number two if you get test route number two, it's not too difficult really um, It's a little bit of a bonus to get this one <laughs> There we are we're just going to go straight ahead here this is taking us into actually Mill Street, which will turn into Newton Road. I think. There you go, we just turned into Newton Road. These traffic lights here, we're going to turn right. Have a green light this time. I'm just going to 
right in the centre here, making sure we don't overshoot the junction. We're turning into New Newdigate Road. time in the morning there's a little bit of a queue and we're working against it which is a bit of a bonus really. This is Newdigate Road and Newdigate Road does do something a bit strange uh, kind of halfway down it in that it turns quite sharply to the right and then quite sharply to the left. Um, it does look like we might have to work our way through this bit at the moment people there are waiting for us so that's good thank you very much sir you can see hazard warning lines appear on the road here already there's a chevron ahead of us as well and that's pointing which way that we should go or which way the bend goes anyway and it bends around to the right here and then round to the left and that second gear you need to be doing that in Third. Just got a few speed bumps now down this road. I'm going to go all the way to the end of this road and then we're going to turn right. So it's a little way just yet. I'm going to turn right into Sutherland Road. Now it can be fairly busy, can Sutherland Road, because it comes straight off the A444 and it's a way for people to get into Bedworth. Uh, and missing out quite a lot of traffic and traffic lights and things. So do make effective observation there. And then turn left into Reynolds Road. There we are, Reynolds Road here. Reynolds Road can be a little bit bendy and there's a bit of a blind bend just in front of us and we do find that cars come around there quite quickly so just uh, just keep your position make sure you can have a good look up the road before you commit yourself too much into it and then we're going to turn left here into Wood Street this is Wood Street we're coming into now On Wood Street you may be asked to do a parallel park or um, if you park on the kind of opposite side of the road and reverse back a couple of car lengths you sometimes do that along here as well. It's a fairly long straight road, terraced houses, lots of parked cars. Try and get the car in the centre of the space here. Uh, I always suppose that there's nothing coming from the other way. Get yourself up right in the centre of the space, plod along, that's how to do it. Road bends around here into Mill Terrace to the left and then it bends around to the right into Hill Street. The car behind us, so I'm just going to indicate that you know that I'm actually going to make the bend and not, not go straight ahead. And again, I'm going to get into the centre of this space here. At the end of Hill Street, we have a uh, stop line. We're going left, by the way. We have a stop line. Important to remember here, at a stop line, you must stop there and put the handbrake on, apply the handbrake. And then just patiently waiting for a space, moving into it. end of Hill Street we've turned left and now we're on a 30 zone which changes now to a 50 zone just halfway up this hill so just as we get past this point we can 
now go a little bit quicker. Getting up into fourth gear. Looking ahead again, you can see the chevrons, uh, which is telling us that the bend, uh, the road bends round to the right. And all we need to do is bend round with it, really. bring us down to the um, what they call the Griff Island uh, in Dunedin and we're going to turn left at that taking the first exit Can be fairly busy one this one. So we're turning left at the roundabout, taking the first exit. That's going to bring us into the A Triple Four, which is the Bedworth Bypass. It's also the A Triple Four. Now the thing to know about the A Triple Four is it features in all 15 of the test routes from Coventry. And the reason is it's a fast road. At the moment here it's a 50 road at this section. But when we get past this next roundabout we're going to go straight ahead first exit. There's no left exit so straight ahead will be the first exit. As we come past this one we can see we have now a national speed limit signs for a dual carriageway as you know is 70 miles an hour so we really need to get up to the speed of the road that doesn't necessarily mean that we're doing 70 on it traffic queue on here today Some kind of hold up. This is the A triple four. What I'm going to do is I'll just um, put the video for a little bit, and then I'll come back to it when we've got past this traffic queue. Okay, so we've just got past the accident that was on the A triple four, and now we're coming up to the junction here, and uh, we want to follow the signs that say B forty one thirteen which puts us into this lane. It's the second lane out as we approach the roundabout. It took a good 15 minutes to get up that A444 then. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're now heading towards the B4113. And... Uh, as we come into the roundabout, all we need to do is just stay in our lane. So we've got to find the lane and then just stay in it. So there we go. It's the kind of outer lane, the one next to the curbs here. As we follow this around. A4113, under the bridge, some traffic lights here. Um, we're going to get through them this time. Normally they change. I know traffic lights change, but normally they change before you get there on that one. <laughs> okay, so this is the 4113. This is also a 70 mile an hour road, so we do need to get the speed up. But it's not a very long road, this one, So, but we are going to turn right at the roundabout as we come down to here. So the first thing we need to do is get to the right-hand lane. Need to tell everybody that we're going to be turning right. It's the fourth exit, and the fourth exit is Wilson Road. Seems to be clear. So that's one. This is the second one here. We want the fourth exit. And it's the next one. So make sure that you do your lifesaver look. Before you move over 
and you'll recognise it because it's the one that goes to the Novotel down this way. As you get around this bend, it's a little bit of a blind bend, but what you'll see is there'll be parked cars on both sides of the road. And it usually makes the road quite narrow. And there you go. Nothing approaching us at the moment. Again, I'm just finding the centre of the space. Now we're going to take the next road on the left. That's where that white car's gone. Next left. And that takes us from Wilson Lane into Woodshires Road. So this is Woodshires Road and uh, hopefully you can see as you look down the road there is uh, a bend in the road that looks a little bit like it's the end of the road actually. As we go under the bridge, we can see it says slow. The road just bends round to the left here. So it's quite a big bend. Just gonna make sure that we keep position as we go around. And this is now Oban Road. And at the end of Oban Road, we're going to turn left. So just where these traffic lights are. Since we got stuck in that traffic queue, the sun has now come out again. <laughs> so hopefully you'll be able, you can still see uh, what's going on and where we are. We're at the end of Oban Road, and we're going to turn left into Longford Road which will take us back toward the test centre. And there we go. This road is bringing us back toward the roundabout um, uh, on Coventry Road which will take us back toward the test centre. When we do get to the roundabout we're going to be turning right taking the fourth exit. Again so it's the same roundabout as before, approaching it now from a slightly different angle. We're going to take the fourth exit so let's just tell everybody where we're going. Finally, if you get your gear about here, usually from this way, you can drift straight on from here. We want the fourth exit. It's the one just after McDonnell Road, McDonnell Drive. So, remember, lifesaver look into the left lane. come round here you'll see two sets of traffic lights we'll be going straight ahead at the first set and then we'll be turning right at the second set of lights so the first set here just turning onto green at this moment so that means we should be able to carry on strange thing here the DHL van is is filming us and we're filming him at the same time. <laughs> so, there you go. I don't know why that's strange, it just is. Okay, so we're gonna turn right at the next set of lights. And 
this set of lights is going to take us back into Baton Road. But we've got to be quite careful at this junction. And you'll see why when we get there, because there's a crossing. Uh, just, as you, just as you go past the red light, there's a crossing. And very often you'll see people just stop on the crossing, not realise it's there maybe. And, uh, you know, very often you'll see people just stop on there uh, because they think they're going to, you know, make the turn. And because of the kind of, you know, weight of all the traffic, they have to stop. And we I don't think we're going to get straight around. Straight around, is that English? Probably not, never mind. And there you go, so we're going to have to wait here. This time there isn't anything stopped on the crossing. Uh, certainly the DHL guy hasn't done. I'll take that back. So there you go. So if you did this, the, the like the van in front of us, that means then you failed. So we're going to make sure there's enough room for us to get over the crossing before we cross the white line. So the green car's moving on, that means we can move. And then we can go around. So it would be a shame, wouldn't it, to go all the way around the test route, do a perfect test, and then just because, you know, you've got held up in the traffic, not realise that the crossing is there, stopped on the crossing, and then failed, that would be a shame, considering that you're like two minutes away from the test centre. As we come down here, uh, there's temporary lights down here uh, today. But when we get through the temporary lights, you'll see that the test centre, the driving test centre, will be on your right, and you'll turn right into the test centre, which obviously we can't do today because we're not on test, not allowed in there, unless you are on test. So. Anyway, we're just about to drive past the driving test centre now, which is on our right just now, and uh, that's route number two. So, um, just to say good luck with everything. Um, if you need to see the other 14 tests uh, in this series, uh, the other 14 tests that go from uh, Coventry, uh, just click subscribe and they'll all be there. In the meantime, good luck. All right, cheers.